So we have the seated foot exercise, set A. So you want to sit on a flat chair, and you want to put yourself forward on the chair so you're not resting with your back into the back of the chair, but feeling the sit bones connecting to the bottom of the chair. You're going to take your ankles and put them about shoulder width apart with your ankles and your knees in line with each other. As we're doing the exercises, you want to make sure you're not going to squish those legs in or wow them out. And in which case you can see how my foot may rotate with that. So we just want to keep everything nice and flat. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, just check in with the body and make sure we're straight. So pushing up through the back of the head, you can lift the spine or you can grab onto the ears at the edge and pull those up. That will give you your straight alignment. Notice that your shoulders will be nice and relaxed. Your chin will be even coming across, so you're not trying to look through this way. Everything will be nice and even, and a nice deep breath. Oh yeah, breathing. <laughs> Don't forget, nice big breath, let the diaphragm drop and expand through the belly. Okay, so as we go, what we're gonna do is put out our right foot. It's gonna look like the mirror image to you. I'm gonna put out my right foot, and I'm going to tap my toe, not so that I'm putting the emphasis on the bottom, but so the emphasis is on the lift. That way I know I'm getting a full range of motion through my ankle. And it's just a few taps on the right foot. And then we're going to change and we're going to do a few taps on the left foot. Okay. So you have a little pump in your heel that helps move the fluid from your foot, up through the leg, back into the body. This little action is helping you do that. It doesn't need to be fast. Just make sure you go through a full range of motion. Okay, the second part that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna put them into two fists. We're gonna put them between the knees. Okay, now if you are a little bit wide, all you need to do is just bring those feet in a little bit if you need to. And what we're gonna do now is turn just the toes, leave the heels on the floor, and you're gonna turn so that your feet are flat when they land on the floor, so you can feel all the way through the foot. In this position, you go as far as you can go that's comfortable, and you may notice with time your range of motion is going to improve. As we're doing this exercise, you may notice that you can feel things move through your knees and through your back, even up to your shoulders and your neck. That's because everything that we're doing is a whole body experience and you can feel everything coming through. Taking your heels now, what we're going to do is just take them side to side. And as you do this, you're taking the whole foot over and making sure that you lay it nice and flat each time. Again, just like with the toes, you'll notice that you can feel movement come through your knees, through your hips, through your shoulders, up into your neck. That's it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring those heels back to the center. And then I'm just going to take my hands to put them on the end of my knees, not on the muscle, because if I do that, that'll turn the muscle off. So I'm just going to bring it forward, and I'll be able to feel what's going on in my knees. But also, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up, and I'm just going to let my hips completely relax. And then I'm going to bring the legs in and open. Everything's nice and relaxed. When your foot goes down, you want everything to be flat and just feel how that range of motion is opening and closing and it's coming right through the hips, again into the lower back, coming up the spine, and you may even notice anything happening within your shoulders or neck. Okay, now bringing your feet back to straight again. Now we'll take the heels. So the heels are going to go together and then we're going to open. Heels together, open. This one's going to give you a turn in. It's going to come through your hip. So if you have any tightness that runs through the hip, this is going to start to open that up. Okay. So we're going to bring that back to center. And now what I'm going to do is put my feet together. I'm just going to move them a little bit to the right. I'm going to start with my heels. I'm going to do a heel twist, a toe twist, a heel twist, 
and then I'm going to slide my foot out on the outside. So I'm using my left foot this time. I'm going to point my toe to the floor and feel the openness that comes across the top of the foot. And you know, I might feel a little bit through the ankle. And then I'm going to push down into the foot that's on the other side. And it's going to help me lift my leg and push it down. If it's hard to lift your leg, don't worry about it. The important part is that you've pointed your toe and that you've got the extension across the top of the foot. That's going to come back in and we're going to turn. One, two, three. Slide your foot out. Feel that openness. Push into the foot. Leg will come up. Bring it back in. One, two, three. Slide. Let that come up and in. Again, I'm not going to put my hands on the muscle because I want to make sure I have those leg muscles engaged to do the action. Come back in. I'm just going to do two more. Sliding out, lift down. And my lift again is coming from how I push into the other foot. So I'm pushing down into this foot and it lifts my leg. So now what we want to do is reverse that. So we're going to go heel, toe, heel and slide the heel out this time. And now we're focused on opening behind the knee and pulling that toe back as far as we can. Push into the foot and lifting up. If you can't lift it, that's okay. Or if you can only lift it a little bit, that's fine. The important part is the foot is flexed back and the knees open. One, two, three. Heel goes out. Feel the openness come through the back of the knee. Push into the foot and the leg rises. So we've got one, two, three, slide. So we have energy lines that pass down through the legs or up through the legs. And what we're doing with both of these actions is we're helping to extend those lines of energy and particularly the ones on the back of the knee, which have to do with kidney and bladder meridian, which is how water flows through the body. And what we want to do is make sure we're really engaging that. Okay, we'll do one more set. Slide that one out, push, bring it back and in, and the other side, push, back and in. Okay, so if we bring our feet back to shoulder width apart, ankles are underneath the knee. What we're going to do on the next one is we're going to drop the ball of the foot down to the floor and then drop the heel. So you have a ball and then a heel. Now some people like to rise up this way, but what I'm going to do is get you to put your foot up in the air, drop the ball of the foot, and then push down into the heel. So you pick it up, ball of the foot, heel. If you find it's a challenge to do this action, that's telling you you have something new to learn for the body and not that it's something you can't do, it's just that you need to learn it. So take your time, ball of the foot, heel drop. Ball of the foot, heel drop. In Tai Chi, we have a little spot which is just behind the toes onto the foot called the bubbling springs. And when we tap the ball of the foot onto the floor, we engage that bubbling springs, drop of the heel, and it helps to take the energy up through the body and fire up the whole system. So this is a nice little exercise to do that. And sometimes our feet don't like to be uh, segmented the way we've got it. They've been used to maybe doing things kind of flat. This gives you the chance to actually move through the foot. Okay, the last part I call the Fred, Fred Flintstone run. You're putting the whole foot on the floor and just moving. Make sure the heel is touching and the toes are touching so you don't engage just part of the foot. And when you finish that, you should feel mm, something happening within the legs, uh, maybe the feet. I feel a little bit of a little lightness or buzz that happens on the legs. It comes all the way up the legs. Some people notice it up to about here, but I actually can feel it come through the hip and start into the back. And our goal is to get it all the way up to the top of our head. So this little exercise is something you can do first thing in the morning. You get up in the morning, you've got to put your feet on the floor. That might be a way to start. You could also put this in midday when you get a little bit tired, you feel like you don't have all the movement that you need. And then again, at the end of the day, this is a really delightful exercise to do if you have trouble with restless legs in the night 
or even just keeping uh, the legs um, so that they've got circulation flowing. This is a good way to keep that going too.